Let's try to make one of Uganda's desserts, mandazi. What you need to make mandazi is one egg, half a cup of sugar, half a cup of milk, two tablespoons of melted butter. Two cups of white flour and two tablespoons of baking powder. Hi! So, what we need to do first is we need to mix our wet ingredients all together. So, we'll put our milk in. And then we'll put our eggs in. And then we'll put our butter in. And then once you have all your wet ingredients in a bowl, you want to whisk it, them all together. Okay, and now after you've whisked all your wet ingredients together, you want to put your dry ingredients in. So we will put our baking powder in. And then we'll put our sugar in. And then we'll put our flour in. Now we're going to take our big spoon and we're going to mix it all together. Now after we just kneaded the dough, we put flour onto a surface and we put our dough onto the surface, as you can see here. And then we kneaded it with our hands by putting flour into our hands and spreading the flour all around on here. And so then after that we took our rolling pin and rolled over it. And now we are ready to put them in the fryer. Okay, so now we are going to make the shape of our donut. So we are using a glass, which you can see we just used right here. And we used a spatula to get it out of the dough because you will mess up the shape if you use your hands. And now we are using a smaller met like medicine serving to make the hole in the middle to have the donut size and now we are going to drop it into the pan which has oil in it and we are going to let it bake for a little and now once your donuts are done we're going to take them out of the pan and put them on to a sheet of paper towels and so Judging from our look, it may look a little burnt, but that is good because sometimes if it doesn't look burnt, the inside might not have been cooked enough. So now after you have your donuts, uh, I'm going to take a little one because we took these out before, and you're going to place it in your powdered sugar, which I made by mixing sugar. Uh, powdered sugar and cinnamon so it's cinnamon and sugar and you are going to coat your donut or in this case like a munchkin with it you might want to roll it around a little but once it is done uh, you can put it onto a plate and so as you can see we did a variety of different donuts like we bake this one a little more and some of them. A street market is one of the places where the African donuts are sold. And 
Jazzy is usually served with the hot drinks such as tea or coffee. People like to eat mandazi because it is a good dessert and has a very good taste. In Uganda, not a lot of their food has taste, so mandazi is considered a great dessert. Mandazi was not only created to be a good dessert, but it was also created to calm people. I hope you enjoyed my 5 minutes of culture video on mandazi and Uganda.